Hello, welcome to SSU Tech. So, see this side, and today we are going to see how we can split the single row into the multiple rows. Let me quickly go into the Excel and try to understand the requirement first. So, here this is our input, and here in the variant name, we are having the pipeline separator values, and here we want to keep these values in the individual row. So, as we can see, item ID, item name, then the variant name. And under the variant name, we can see the black, red, and silver in different rows. So, how we can do that? So, go to the Azure Data Factory and we'll try to implement this in practical. So, here under the Azure Blob Storage, we are under the output location of the item info.csv file. So, it is having the same data as we have seen in the Excel file. Let me quickly go into the Azure Data Factory, try to add a new data flow here. And first, let me try to add the source. So we need to create the data set for this as we don't have. So let me select the Azure Blob Storage, click on Continue, Delimited Text File. Then here, Delimited Text is OK. SSU Testing is the link service. Let me browse this, go to the Output Location. And here we need to select the Item info file so click on ok so first row is header let me click on ok so we have created this delimited text one file data set now we can go into the data preview and try to refresh so we can also verify the data so it will be having total three columns as the separator is the comma separator here we can see the variant name is having the separator between the values for the pipeline and the comma separator for these three columns so that is okay let me quickly go here and what next we want we want to convert this as an array so how we can do that so for that we need to use the derived column transformation and let me convert this variant name from this string to an array so for converting the array, we need to use the split function. So split function first is asking about the string. So the string is the variant name and the split character. So the split character here is the pipeline. So the separator we are having the pipeline. Let me save and finish. Go to the data preview and try to refresh it. So this split you need to remember, it will be going to convert your string values to an array that you can see here so this is coming in array now what next we need to do so how we can convert this array value into the multiple rows we have already discussed about the flatten transformation if you haven't watched that video then i would strongly recommend to watch that video as well so in the flatten transformation what it will do it will be going to convert your array values from one row to the multiple so first it is asking about the enrolled by so what unrolled by here is the variant name root is the variant name so that is okay now everything is okay we can see all these columns here like the item id item name and the variant name let me go into the data preview and try to refresh so it will be going to convert into the multiple rows from that array so we need to wait and here we can see it is having all the values into the different rows. So two things that you have to remember on this. First, the derived column transformation using the split function to convert the string values as an array. And then the flatten transformation to convert the array values into the multiple rows. After that, we can simply put this into the sync location. So under the sync location, let me use the inline query. And here the data set type of the file will be the delimited text and SSU testing the link service in the setting. Let me put this file into the input location. So we need to select the input folder. Then we can click on OK. Here we can see first row as header. So we can select that. Here we can see file name option. So file name option is the output to single file. And then we can call the file name here. So the file name is item info dot csv so this file is not available in the input location let me save this and go to the input location so we can also verify we don't have that file there
we can see we don't have any item info.csv file. Let me try to add a new pipeline to execute this. So once we are going to execute this data flow, so this data flow will be executed and your file should be processed. So here we can see one error. So this error is coming just because in the sync we have not set to the single partition. So let me try to save this again. And in the pipeline one, let me try to debug it. So once it will be executed, then we should be able to see the file into the input location. So this is in progress and it will be going to execute soon. So it got executed. Let me go into the input location and try to refresh. So here we should see one more file that is the item info.csv. So it is having the same data as we have seen in the Excel file. So as you can see item ID, item name, variant name into the multiple rows. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.